Do you want some potential new details on the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass that goes beyond what's been unveiled by Nintendo and the Musou team over the last, I don't know, handful of hours? I got you. Hey everyone, today we got a bunch of, really it happened last night technically on the Japanese Muso account, but today we got the English translation versions of new news for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity Expansion Pass, and I have it up here on the screen and we'll go over that in a moment, uh, but I have additional information here from Samus Hunter, and what's interesting is a lot of the stuff that was announced by Nintendo and the Muso team was actually things that Samus Hunter already talked about before. So Samus Hunter was right again. Samus Hunter hinted we were going to get the ancient armor added. Hey, guess what? We're getting the ancient armor. Who knew? Well, Samus Hunter did. Literally gave us a screenshot of me wearing it, suggesting that we were getting it in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And we got it. Uh, also suggested what the expansion packs could be, at least some base premises. And it looks like she's right. So we want to cover this additional information she has because we want to make sure that we cover our bases and give you all the information on the DLC that we aren't really hearing yet because they basically gave us the info on this infograph and not much else. So I'm going to glance at this infograph. Let's go here. So you can purchase it on May 28th. That's uh, next week. Uh, it'll come with a, uh, a purchase bonus for Link's costume, which is the prototype ancient gear, which again, we talked about how Samus Hunter told us that was true. Uh, Link's weapon is going to be a prototype ancient short sword, which also Samus Hunter said we were going to get. Uh, and then wave one is called pulse of the ancients. It's going to be available in June, 2021. I presume we're going to see it at E3 before it releases, or maybe it releases during E3. We'll see. Uh, it's going to have an added playable character, new challenges in the Royal ancient lab, added weapon types and action styles, newly added challenging enemies. And then Wave 2, which is available in November of 2021, is called Guardian of Remembrance. This is going to have newly added character vignettes, expanded roster, newly added stages, and new battle skills for existing characters. And when you have new stages, that typically comes along with more story. They're not saying that specifically, but generally when new stages have been added in the past to Musou games, it comes along with story. So it seems that the second one, kind of like the second uh, part of the DLC pass for Breath of the Wild had story, uh, looks like it's going to be that case here. And here's what Samus Hunter had to say on this. Um, she said, want more details on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass? The lines I wrote in the tweet in which I included some of the aspects that would be part of the two DLC packs now have an official name, and I will write in detail what they offer. Pulse of the Ancient, right? That's the first one, Pulse of the Ancients. Uh, the purpose of this pack is to provide a degree of challenging capable of being difficult, a degree of challenge capable of being difficult even for those who have already completed the post-game of the base game and an increase in the replayability factor of the title. By completing the missions assigned by Pura and Robbie in the Ancient Court Workshop, you'll receive several rewards, including new weapons. Both will also actively enter the battle. So it says, added playable character. Maybe it's characters and they're keeping a, a secret here. We'll see. Uh, the new enemies will not actually be completely new, even though it does say newly added challenging enemies. It's saying they're actually going to be reskins. Think like golden versions, golden Lionels. Oh, like, yeah, think golden versions, which that's what they did in Breath of the Wild. And we'll get to master mode. You didn't get new enemies. You got upgraded enemies right and more of them so it's possible that that's kind of what's happening here i don't think we're going to get newly never seen enemies in zelda before uh here so i kind of agree it's probably just going to be like reskinned golden versions or something i think that actually makes a lot of logical sense uh, and then while for the weapons they were initially planned uh the possibility of assigning elemental statuses so they were gonna have element like fire wind you know that kind of stuff uh such as fire to inflict more damage to ice to grass etc. Uh, but they scrapped it during development of the main games. So it's possible that these elements are going to make a presence in this DLC. So the new weapons and stuff potentially have elemental factors. So we'll see about that. Guardian of Remembrance, the second DLC pack, in my opinion, the most exciting of the two that comes out in November, uh, is a content focused on the narrative aspect of the game. So she's claiming story, which would make sense with the new stages. Uh, it will highlight several events that were hinted at in the game, putting more focus on the villain such as Aster and his origin, which 
that's kind of sort of what happened with Hyrule Warriors back in the day. Uh, a lot of the DLC story added, like, the other side of the coin. Uh, so, yeah, that, that seems to be what's going to happen here. Although the game is a spinoff, and I hardly think we'll see heavy references to these events uh, in Breath of the Wild sequel, some aspects of it could be considered canon. Now, this is always a controversial point. Is Hyrule Warrior Age of Calamity canon? Is it not? I feel it is. Other people say no. There's been no technical word from Nintendo if it's on the timeline or not. Maybe they'll release an updated timeline at some point, and we'll see that it is on the timeline. Uh, that's really when we're going to get official word. Otherwise, we're all just debating to the wind on words said by Eiji Anomu and, and what, what it means and what it infers. And Can a spinoff game be part of the series? Yes, a spinoff game can be part of the series. Um, but well, that's neither here nor there. Uh, it says it's the content with the least amount of recycled content. Uh, so the second, the second pack has like you know the first one, like the enemies, they're recycled, but like you know different colors, stronger. Um, this content's not going to have as much recycled content, although it's probably going to be shorter in actual gameplay than the first one. So the first one's going to have more missions, more gameplay, more more playability to it. But the second one's going to be smaller, but like more original, right? actual story elements etc so it's going to be more original but not as it won't take you as long to beat it that, that's basically what she's saying um so they'll be adding more challenges to the first pack along with this content in order to update it with new additions uh and that's all and then she takes some other people to cover it she didn't tag me uh specifically because she actually messaged me so she posted this stuff about two hours ago so around nine o'clock uh, my time she gave me this information seven hours before that i was sleeping and then this morning, I got my kids off to school, and then I kind of sort of went back to sleep. I was pretty tired. Um, so I had an epic live four-hour live stream last night. So uh, I was a little bit late getting this stuff up in comparison to maybe some others out there. Maybe Andre's Restart Game Over Dressing HMK already have videos up on this because that's who she tagged. Maybe they don't. I don't know, but I'm getting a video up on it because I am highly, highly interested in Hyrule Warriors in general. I find... Um, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity to be one of those games that just makes me smile, right? Um, I, you know, the big debate, obviously, they sold it on the premise of it being a prequel. Uh, if you recall, we kept calling it a prequel at this channel. Eiji Anomu is the one that kind of inferred that it was a prequel by coming out and saying, hey, this is the only game that's going to explain the events that happened 100 years ago. To me, that's like a definitive, this is a prequel, because... It's referencing 100 years before Breath of the Wild. It's the only game that's going to explain 100 years before Breath of the Wild. How can it do that if it's not a canon game in the series, right? How does that actually make factual sense to do something like that? So that's kind of where it, it, it's coming from in that regard. Personally, uh, I think it, it probably is canon. It probably is a prequel. And I do think it, po it possibly creates another split in the timeline. It's not as if the Zelda series is new to this. Ocarina of Time had three splits off it officially. I think one of the splits was tacked on to try to make sense of a timeline that didn't make sense. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. That's what factually occurred. It makes the Hyrule Historia. We now know all that. So it's one of those things. I think this is just another instance of a timeline split. But whether something comes from the timeline split, I have no idea. But that's my personal opinion. So I want to throw it to you guys. First off, are you excited about this DLC? It's only $19.99. That's basically what they've charged for these... Um, you know, the combo DLC pack pass things, uh, expansion passes, they call it. Uh, you know, every single time, that's what they charge for Mario Kart 8. So they charge for Breath of the Wild. That's what they charge for Hyrule Warriors. Back on Wii U, that's what they charged, uh, you know, now for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Seems to be the go-through price for expansion passes. So, and besides Smash, right? Smash was 25 Whatever. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about that. Also, I hope to see all of you guys, one, tonight at our live stream. We will have a live stream tonight. It is our end of week stream. We'll probably be talking about this, other news. We always do Q&As uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Essentially, sometimes there'll be a day skip like Tuesday. We didn't do one this week. But Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we always have our, our, our nightly streams. I'll be sitting right here talking to you guys uh, about whatever you guys feel like talking about that day, plus all of the biggest news stories. We actually broke... Um, if, you, if you're curious, the original base news about this that released in Japan, it broke on our um, stream. Like, I'm not even kidding. We talked about this Hyrule Warriors news last night as it came out on Japanese Twitter. That's what's also kind of neat during our stream is that any breaking news that happens while we're streaming, we talk about it during the stream. 
as it happens. It's kind of neat. We were working on translations and trying to figure this all out, going to various websites, using Google Translate. And we got a lot of this information uh, that's in this infograph. But now, you know, now we have additional stuff potentially from Samus Hunter. Video will be listed as a rumor. I uh, hope to see you tonight at my stream around 8, 8.30 uh, p.m. Central Time. I uh, will also be obviously streaming for E3. I hope to see you guys all at E3 2021. There'll be a link down in the description. It'll be the top link. Uh, it's actually going to probably be before the fold and all that uh, for you guys to tap or click on that and go um, set reminders for our E3 uh, stream, our pre-show. We are going to be streaming the entirety of E3 all four days, probably 12 hour plus long live streams. We're not really sure how long it's going to be until we get the full schedule from Nintendo. And then we schedule our stuff throughout E3 while we're live reacting to everything happening at E3. $3,500 worth of giveaways. Some of this giveaway stuff is back here. Some of it's over here off camera. There's more stuff coming today, more stuff coming next week. The stuff keeps rolling in. We have a whole bunch of companies that partnered a bunch of games to give away. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait uh, to give back to the community as much as I possibly can. Because you guys are a community that provides so much to me. You guys lift me up. You guys uh, make YouTube exciting for me. Uh, you, I, I mean, as an example, we don't have an active giveaway this month. And we're having one of the biggest growth months in channel history. It's not the biggest growth month, but it's one of the biggest growth months in the four years or so that I've been doing YouTube here. Uh, and it's just really nice to see that people seem to be coming in because they love the content. You guys love what I'm doing and want to subscribe. I'm not even asking in most of my videos for you to subscribe. You're just doing it. I think that's really, really neat that people are just enjoying the content that much. So thank you for that. We are a community, hopefully a good community, uh, and one that hopefully continues to grow together uh, and, and build lasting friendships and just lift each other up when we're having rough times. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. Hopefully I'll see you tonight, see you at E3, see you in my next video. Probably have maybe one more video today. We'll see. Uh, I got a little extra time today, so we might be another one out. But otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.